Okay, in this question they ask us, what are the vertex and the axis of symmetry of the par parabola, excuse me, shown in the diagram below? So in this question, of course, they're showing a parabola, this U-shaped type of curve. And it could be a sideways curve like this. It could be an up and down curve like we're seeing here. But usually two of the basic features that we look at in the parabola are the vertex and the axis of symmetry. We also look at the focus and the directrix, so we'll go through those points right now. So the vertex right here is this point. And probably, as you can infer, um, it's the turning point of the parabola. So here it's going down, the slope is decreasing, and then it turns right, at the vertex and goes to a positive slope. So the vertex is like a turning point here, right? And that point is 1, negative 4. So by process of elimination, we can cross out choices 3 and 4 because that vertex is not correct. Now, the focus, we'll, ha we'll talk about the focus because it's, it's such an important part of the parabola, uh, is a point, right, above the vertex. And the idea is that if you look at that, that focus and then you look at a line called the directrix, I'm going to estimate here, try not mess this up, Okay, so that's my, that's D, the directrix, directrix, and this point will be F, the focus. I, I know they don't ask this in this question, but I think we should know it, and it might help us for future questions. The idea is that if I find all of the points that are the same distance from the focus and from the directrix, what forms is the parabola. That's what a parabola is, like if I connect this point right here in this distance and this distance, I didn't draw this very well, um, those two distances would be equal. That's what a parabola is. So any distance from the focus should be the same as the distance to the, the directrix. So I think my focus should be much closer here and so should my directrix because this distance should be equal to that one right there. That's what a parabola is. It's the points, all of the points, they call it usually, you might see this word, the locus or the collection of points that are equidistant or the same distance from the focus and the directrix. That's what this parabola really is. If I do a little sketch over here, I think I'll, I'll do a better job. Let me just show you what I mean. Here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis, and I'll do a rough sketch of a parabola. Right? So here, if I put my focus right here, right, and I say, okay, well here, this point is this far away, if I go the same distance down, right, that's where my directrix would be, right there. Right, those distances should be equal at any point on the parabola, this line and this line, right, this line and this one down here. They're all the same distance, that's what a parabola is. Now, <clears throat> based on the vertex, that turning point, we also can finally get to our axis of symmetry. That's like the line or the axis that we can fold the parabola on. I can cut it right in half. So it's this vertical line right here, right? We can see the mirror image of the parabola on both sides of that line. So that's called the axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry here is choice one, right? Oops, wrong tool. The, the axis of symmetry here is x equals one. And that gets into um, how we define lines. Well, all vertical lines are defined as x equals and then some number. And you can always tell what the number will be because it's the x value right, of the point, or excuse me, of any of the points on the line. All of these points in this vertical line have the same x value. They all are 2 and then some y value, but we don't know what y value it is because it's every y value, every height. It goes infinitely up and infinitely down, but they all have the same x value in common. So this vertical line is x equals 2, just like any other vertical line. If I drew one down here, right, well, that's on negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so that means this is the line x equals negative 3. And that's the idea of these vertical lines. Horizontal lines with, with other parabolas will, have, will be of the form of y equals some number. But a vertical line will be of the form of x equals some number. So we have vertical lines and then the horizontal lines. Okay, so here, oh, horizontal. So here the answer is 1, and I... I know I went a little bit on a tangent right there, but I mean, they can ask you anything about a parabola, so we should at least be aware of what all these words mean. Thanks.